so I have discovered the Holy Grail. Uh, not the Cadillac, Cadillac. Or the Audi, which is nice. The Hyundai. But no. We all know what I'm here for. The BMW concept car. I could scream, I'm so excited. Uh, here's Scion over here. There's Mazda. Ooh, Chevy. I'll see, check out the Chevy too. Buick, Audi's beautiful cars. But no. Uh, there's a Lexus. But no, I want to see the BMW. There's the Infiniti, GMC, Toyota, Buick, Chevy. And oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the BMW concept car. It's going to be the closest I'll ever get to Tom Cruise, who was supposed to be my first husband. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, the Lexuses look pretty nice. GMC, Toyota. Uh, and BMW, I have arrived. So, BMW of America, let's go to the concept car. Hey! I'm so excited. I can't believe I get to get this close to the concept car. This is awesome. Wow. It is simply breathtaking. As beautiful in person as it was in the film. Oh, BMW i8, and I'm waiting in line. Yay! No, not yet. Oh well, back in the line. Excuse me. The new right. con, but the old one, the way it like looks like it would glow and everything, it's just breathtaking. So here I am at the BMW i8 concept. Talking with Rich. Hi, exterior. Richard. I designed the exterior. You designed it. I worked it with here. a very talented team of uh, designers that worked on the interior, the exterior, the color and trim. Uh, yeah, part of a very talented team. And so, this is a car that is the following to what is going to be in Mission Impossible coming out because that movie was made in 2009, and you're saying that this is pretty much ready to be sold to people. The, yes, correct. The, the car that you will see in Mission Impossible that Tom Cruise will drive is also the car that uh, was the um, predecessor to this, and that was designed in 2009. It's a very nice car. It was called the uh, Efficient Dynamics, Vision Efficient Dynamics, and we've developed it. It's now called the the uh, i8, as you see it here today, and uh, of course it's taking a, a closer step towards production, and you will see something very similar in uh, 2014. Wow, not too far away. Now, do you mind if we look at the interior and you tell me a little bit more about the material that it is made out of? Isn't it made out of fiberglass? No, or carbon fiber. Can we, uh, carbon fiber? What? No, we, we're going to have them open oh. so you can take a closer look. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's made out of what kind of material? Carbon fiber. Yeah, and it's uh, the wow. only material that's going to give you this much strength and stability and be uh, extremely lightweight. So if you got in an accident, it has like a crash? I'd say it's extremely durable. Oh, it is the same as metal. That's why it's so... It's going to exceed metal. It's uh, extremely stable. And so how does this work exactly? Like if you got into it and you wanted to start the car. How do you start well, the car? I, I can't uh, uh You can't get inside, you right nobody's now. allowed no, inside. No one's allowed at this point in time, but what's nice here is see this layer here? Yes. And this layer is an aerodynamic feature, but it's also the way that you can kind of slide in and out. Okay. And, and the other nice thing is because of the strength of the carbon, you can get this huge opening, a huge door, two, smarry, so two very small uh, oh, hinges. Oh, hinges. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be one of those cars that you push with a button and you don't need a key. Uh, yeah, that, that uh, detail hasn't been released yet for you oh, guys to secret. know, but uh, it, 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 we're, we're going to use the state of the art best of the best. So would, if this is going to come out probably in 2014 or something similar to this, um, when would they start manufacturing it? Would they start manufacturing it the year before? And would they have to make, or is this secret, would you have to make a special kind of manufacturing building? We do have uh, a facility that's taking care of the carbon fiber, and uh, um, and everything is happening in parallel as we speak. And when you say carbon fiber, that's not glass. No, that's not glass. It's carbon something fiber that you melt. Plastic. Oh, is that what it is? Is this recycled material? 
the carbon fiber, it yeah. is recyclable. Um, what you see here today is sort of a prototype. It's a constant version of uh, the possibilities that you could see in 2014. Now, is this leather interior? Mm -hmm. It's, a, of course, naturally uh, tanned. And uh, the nice thing about this interior, for such a sporty, uh, compact vehicle, you have a, a tremendous amount of interior volume. Very reasonable headroom, especially for a car so low and so wide. Also, because of the way we notched the, the entrance, it comes down. Mm -hmm. You can just very easily kick your legs around, and you have this, uh, this very functional inside-out, uh, in-and-out experience. Now, I have to ask the important thing. Mm -hmm. What about trunk space? Where is the trunk? Um, oh, we have, there's, there's plenty of possibilities for the trunk, and uh, right now we haven't uh, been able to uh, disclose that in full detail here, but uh, the, <laughs> technology, yeah, the technology is amazing. Very, you can get a very flat floor, and this provides, especially on the i3, a tremendous amount of interior volume and trunk space. A very nice detail on the trunk uh, uh, here is that you have a very Ooh. expansive amount of glass, gives you unbeatable visibility. Wow. To answer your question about trunk, normally you have a uh, an engine in this area of a typical car, and of course you have a cooling function uh, as well, but because we don't have an engine, we're able to offer an additional uh, luggage compartment. What do you mean you don't have an engine? Oh, the engine would go on the bottom? Yeah, the oh, is that a secret? It, yeah, no, no, it's just that we don't have an engine here because it's full, it's full electric. This is an electric car. Right. And normally you'd have a combustion engine here, but instead of that space being taken by an engine, we're able to offer an additional luggage compartment. But the electric car, it has some sort of machinery thingy to make it work. Yeah, it's just not in... It's, it's right uh, under the, uh, the rear, in the uh, rear hatch. Can we see it? Well, you can see that it's... Oh, it's uh, underneath the, the hatch. Yeah, it's under the floor, yeah. Everything is very efficient, it's very small, it's streamlined, and it gave us design freedom to make sure that all of the issues for a mega city would be uh, developed and accomplished in a perfect, uh, small mega city vehicle. And so I have a couple of other questions. Is this your first car that you've designed? Uh, I did work on uh, the BMW X1 before this project. And what kind of BMW do you drive, Richard? Well, uh, right now I'm driving a temporary car while I'm visiting LA. It's a 5 GT. Oh, you don't look her. Well, I'm you in, live in Germany. Right now. I'm in Munich right now. Oh this my gosh, that's where, exciting. This is where all the magic happens, in Munich. So she. Do you speak e the Deutsch? Oh, uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, yes. uh, well, I'm Bishin, but speak <laughs> so feel. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I love this car. I can't wait for 2014 to come and being able to see the car. Thank you for okay. speaking with me, Richard. You are a talented, wonderful person. Thank you very much.